it seems to be getting colder by the day. Unfortunately, this is two years in a row, which no one really thought was going to happen. Ventosa Vineyard is in the heart of the Finger Lakes, right on Seneca Lake, and its vines are nearing a breaking point. And that's the hardest thing about being a farmer is you can't really control how the weather is. While many of its hardier grapes like Riesling and Pinot Gris can withstand temperatures as low as 12 below, some of their other grapes can't. Ventosa is already predicting up to a 30% loss for Merlot and Chardonnay. Once it starts getting down to negative 5, negative 6, and then you start to see about half of your buds, fruiting buds for the following year, start to freeze. Wednesday night, Thursday morning, again, Geneva will be below zero and probably at least 5 degrees below zero. This vineyard is one of only a few in New York growing Sangiovese grapes. They're used to growing in the warmer Italian climate, so temperatures dipping down lower are especially concerning for this grape. When it does get really cold, you could have entire sections of the vine just kind of die off. The wind coming off of Seneca Lake is certainly making me very cold. However, for the buds, it's a different story. The wind in these frigid temperatures is actually helping them. The way that cold air kind of settles in different pockets within a landscape, it, um, if it settles for too long, that's when you start to see the damage to the vines. You don't get as much cold air radiating upwards. It just sort of disperses out so it doesn't get as cold. Hope to keep buds alive through these biting temperatures. Reporting from Geneva, I'm Alex Rosilla.